Hello my convicts and convict catchers, the designer of convict bringing you guys and gals another video. So, welcome to my pain. My pain being X Defiant. So, I'm going to help you out today. Fix X Defiant, are you having issues where you on PC and you plug in a controller and it doesn't work? Have you had that issue? But apparently, I have figured out how to fix it because I have not had, I have had no end of problems trying to get the controller working. If you go check out my live stream I've done recently on X Defiant, you'll see where my pain came from. So yeah, I've managed to finally get this stupid controller to work on X Defiant. And as you can see, it's not a original PlayStation controller. However, I've got a game server one and that doesn't seem to work. I don't believe. Um, I'm going to try something. So if I unplug this and plug it back in, will it still continue to work? The question? The question is no. It loses all connectivity. Even though it was working a minute ago, I've lost all functionality. I can't do anything with it. Can you see? I'm going to show you how to fix this. First of all, there's not much you can do now, apart from quit. Thanks, X Defiant. I close everything. Even close down Ubisoft. Make sure your controller's plugged in. Make sure it's plugged in, okay? Then launch the Connect app. Let me actually bring up... Um, where's display capture? Let me add a display capture here so you can see exactly what I'm doing here. Uh, AX2710 is my uh, monitor I'm using. Right. You can see the screen. So first of all, we need to go to Ubisoft and we need to double click on Ubisoft. Make sure your controller's plugged in. Right? Keep your controller plugged in. Do not, un do not take off your controller at all. Okay? Once you're into this bit, I would highly suggest using your controller. As you can see, it does work to function the buttons here and go down to X Defiant Server Test Session and then press on that. Okay, this will launch the game. Just go to leave for a bit for it to launch the game. So you have to do this every time. Um, there is another thing I did as well. I'll probably do in this just in case as a precaution. If you hold shift and press F2 on your keyboard, it'll bring you into like the other menu. Um, is this actually loading the game? It is because it's paused. I can't move. I can't, I can't move or do anything. So it's launching the game. And just take a, a moment for the game to launch. Hopefully they'll fix this and they get it working so it actually launches faster because this incredibly slow for launching. I've, uh, I have uninstalled and reinstalled the server test as well, so you may have to do that just in case. Uh, but it should launch the game soon. Double check it hasn't got stuck. Double check. Library. Let me go to library. Let me try again. So if I press square, look, it should play. So there you go, it's now launching the game. It does take a moment for it to launch. But make sure you launch the game using your controller to start off with. The controller should control the screen. If it's not controlling the screen, then it could be your controller's not compatible. Or try using DS4, try using Steam. Um, see if they help at all. They didn't help me, so... <laughs> Good luck on that one. Make sure you click on in the screen anywhere so it changes to this icon. So it looks like this icon. And move your controller so it disappears. So that arrow has disappeared now. Okay. So you have to give it a moment for it to load in and do everything it needs to. But yeah, you'll have to do this every time. Do not unplug your controller. If you unplug your controller, you will have to restart the whole entire process again. So whatever you do, don't unplug your controller. And if you've got one of those dodgy wires that accidentally turn your controller off, you're going to probably have a fun time.
with this. So hopefully they do fix it. So I'm going to send this off to Mark Rubin. So hi, Mark. I love your game. You're a great game. Please, please fix this issue because it's annoying as hell. Also, uh, you might want to look into your servers as well, because I've seen a lot of people having problems and issues with servers. Obviously, it's a play to so I know you're doing it on a smaller sample server size or, or servers, but they're kind of odd at the moment. So if you've done it all right, look, you can now control X Defiant this way. So hopefully that helps you out. It does work with, hopefully it might work with other controllers as well. I don't know. I'm going to actually try this one now again, sir. You don't want to stick around and that's how you do it. Thanks for joining. If you do want to stick around for the other one, please do. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Please like this video so everybody sees it. As many people see it because otherwise they're not going to be able to play this game. That's how you do it. So you have to make sure the controller's in. You have to make sure you start up the game with the controller plugged in and make sure that you activate the game using your controller and and the arrow comes up when the black screen comes up and it starts to load. Make sure to click on the game window and then move the controller so the arrow disappears. If you do that, it will work. I'll demonstrate. Look, you see everything's working. As long as it's working here, it will officially work on the PC. So that's how you do it. Anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to unplug the controller. We're going to plug it back in just to demonstrate. Watch. Have no functionality again, look. All gone. Right, I just want to kind of test this one. This one's a game, sir. And again, this these controllers work. This just gets recognized as a Xbox 360 controller. It gets recognized as a PlayStation controller. So I'm going to quit again. Do the same steps again. Boss quit, yes. Um, and... Now open, um, what is it, Ubisoft Connect. So yeah, if, if they can fix that, would be amazing. Um, I don't know why it's not recognizing it, but there we go. Uh, as you can see, my controller is controlling the game. It should work. Again, press X to play. That's A to play. And it's recognizing the buttons because it's telling me the correct button to press to start the game. Make sure you do this every time. If you don't, you're not going to be able to get in and don't unplug. Otherwise, you have to go through the whole process of quitting, or quitting Ubisoft Connect, going back into Ubisoft Connect. I haven't got Steam up or anything like that. I don't have DS4 or anything up like that. I'm just basically doing it this way. Again, click so it changes the cursor, move, or press a button. It should remove that cursor. Don't know if this one is going to... Oh, this one's going to do it. I've noticed my thing's gone white. I'm hoping it's going to work. My, uh, my uh, thing on top has gone white. Don't know why it's gone white for. Oh, it's gone green now. It's gone green. But it should recognize it. Let's see what happens. You may you may get limited functionality depending on what what controller you're using. Right now it's not remove the arrow, so it could be that not recognizing this controller, even though this controller works on every other game. Oh, it's not working. So you, you all have to be careful what controllers you use. Uh, I could try and play test this again and see if it works, but this one really isn't working. My other one does work, so at least I've got one controller I can physically use. 
But it's kind of weird that only certain controllers work. We even tried doing the whole thing to vibrate sort of thing. This is not working at all. So the game uh, Cyclone Pro does not work. However, the other one does on there. Anyway, hopefully this helps us out. And uh, hopefully, Mark and your team, you can fix it because it's a real problem. Uh, the fact that it's very, very limited to certain controllers. Even got an official controller. So it's not the case of being like a controller watch. I'll show you. This is a, an official PlayStation controller. I don't know if this wire is any good. I've not used this controller in a very, very long time. But I don't have official, an official PlayStation 5 or anything like that controller I can actually physically try right now. But it is working. It's lighting up. But again, nothing. Not, not doing anything. Uh, but I'm not sure if this controller wire works. Not 100% sure because I've not, again, I've not used this controller in a very long time. But no, no functionality from this controller. But I don't know, yeah. So unless you do that, you're not going to work. So um, again, same controller. That worked. This controller worked. Plug it back in. No functionality. I have to do that every single time. So, try it out. See if it works for you. Thanks for watching anyway. Don't forget, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and salute to you all. And yeah.